You know, I think that um, he's really worked really hard. You know, Coach Galt does an unbelievable job, and, and he's really reshaped his body and things like that. So he, he's working on that, and obviously that's something to work out, you know, in a lot of practices. Do you think today is kind of in shows and is indicative of the spring that Noah Kane has had? Just in the way that he was kind of decisive? Yeah, I mean, I, we knew Noah was going to be a very good player for us, and uh, we're excited about his spring. Um, he's one of those guys who shows up in live periods, you know what I mean, where he's a hard guy to tackle, as you saw today, you know, whether it's, you know, arm tackles aren't going to bring him down, that's not going to happen, and he also has very good vision, um, and Coach Schneider's done a great job of, you know, teaching what he needs to be looking for and things like that. You know, obviously, as a young kid, you're always, you need to work at you know, pass pro and all those sort of things, and you can make improvements, but even that, I was very pleased with spring. As a, as a play caller, is it nice to have a variety of running backs to do a variety of things? Because the last couple of years you've had one guy and could, you know, do a lot of different things, but it seems like this year there's more of a mix and match. Yeah, I, I actually think what we've got is a lot of guys who can still do a lot of things, but we've got we've got a few of them, you know what I mean? And, and I was really happy with the running backs last spring. I was, I was happy with, you know, every time we got into a live period, they, they showed up. You know, and so um, that was great. And then if you look at just even the Blitz Pro, that you know, even the individual ones, you know, I, I loved how they were sticking their face in there and moving their feet and then uh, getting to the right guys. So very pleased with them all spring. Coach Sider does an unbelievable job with those guys. What's realistic expectations for Noah in 2019, given that you have Ricky and you have Journey and these guys? You know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and put any numbers or goals on him or anything like that, but I think, you know, he, he's putting himself in a position to play in games and, and, and help this team win. And mm -hmm. I think that that's what he wants to do, and, and, and that's certainly what we want him to do. Cool. Thanks, what do, you, what do you think Tommy got out of the spring with the limited reps, and how much do you think missing those reps kind of set him back a little bit? I think he did a really nice job with the mental aspect of it and, and, and being able to sit back there and go through reads and think. I would turn around and ask him what he saw knowing what I'd already seen, you know, and, and he would give me the answer that I wanted, you know, and so I thought he did a really nice job with that. And then when he did, he was able to do some skelly this, this spring, and, you know, quite frankly, he was excellent. So uh, really pleased with how he handled it. You know, he's, unfortunately, he's got some practice, you know what I mean, at it, but uh, he's done a nice job at, at taking those mental reps. James said you guys weren't ready to name a starter, but he wanted to have one as soon as possible. When would you prefer to have that, an idea of what you're going to do there? Uh, as, as, as soon as as soon as that guy you know grabs it, you know what I mean. And, and you want obviously uh, a starting quarterback, you know, as soon as that guy goes out there and grabs it by the reins. Um, and I think that you know we've got some guys who have worked really hard for it um, across the board. Obviously, um, Tommy's got some great experience. Cliff got some experience last year, and and, and Will has, has shown some incredible promise. You guys got to see his talent today, you know, on a couple of throws. So um, excited about all three of those guys. Is there a situation where you would name the starter before the start of summer drills? Um, you know, that's that's something for you know Coach Franklin and I to talk about. You know, um, obviously there's a number of different things, and, and you're always thinking about the best way to to, to help your team. So um, we're going to look at it and, and see what's going to help this team win. What did Sean do to make himself a better runner? He said he's a better runner. Yeah, um, you know, Coach Coach Gall is a great great trainer, and and Sean works really really hard. You know, and and so I think that's the thing that he does the best, and then. You know, his competitive spirit is going to allow him to just keep working himself into a great athlete. And quite frankly, he was probably, not probably, he definitely is a more natural athlete than people give him credit for. You know, he, he's always had natural gifted skills. Um, just some people didn't see him. So he, he's, he's getting better every day and, and we're really pleased with the progress he's made this spring in that area. You, may, you mentioned um, wishing he'd take the first read a couple of times. Is that sometimes a product of, or a byproduct of being aggressive or being overly confident trying to take that deep shot? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, whether we like to admit it or not, it was the first time, you know, in this stadium with all, you know, with the people there and all those sort of things. It's a different type of deal than, than normal spring practice, either in Haluba or on the grass fields or whatever. So, um, you know, it took a little bit for us to get settled in. Um, I kind of expected that a little bit, but, you know, it's something that we, as, as we get older, we got we to gotta get past that. James said he thought the offense would run the ball a little better today. He credited the white defense, but... Did you? Did you? Uh, what did you? How do you assess your offensive line today? Um, I, I've been really happy with how we ran the ball all spring. Um, so um, I wish, obviously, that we would have ran it a little bit more efficiently today. Um, but I, I, I was. If, if I take all 15 practices, I was happy with how we ran the ball this spring. We, we, we added a couple new things that maybe we didn't show today. You know, it was pretty vanilla, um, and, and we were able to be pretty effective on those plays. But. 
in general. I thought I wish we would have come out and been a little bit more efficient running the ball today. Obviously, with how much drops were from last season coming out today with a couple of early ones. Did that did that hurt you guys can kind of get in the flow in and kind of get in well, the offense maybe rolling more than maybe you would have liked? You know, that's a, a team thing. I mean, you know, as quarterbacks, we got to put it in a place where they can catch it, you know, give them the best possible spot. You know, we got to, it's, it's protection. It's all those sort of things. They all work together for us to get the flow, you know, and so obviously we want, you know, we want to make every, you know, Coach Parker's going to say we got to make every catch. I got to say we got to make every throw and those sort of things. But again, I thought this spring we did a really nice job with that. You know, that we made some major contested catches and things like that. And it's been, uh, I've been incredibly pleased with the wide receivers and how they've grown having a plan every play and those sort of things, it's, 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 been, it's been awesome. Ricky, if you, if you went over this before, I apologize, but are well, you concerned at all that Tommy didn't get in as much work uh, this spring uh, as you maybe expected? No, I'm not concerned. I mean, obviously, I'd love him to get in as much work as he can, um, but concern probably isn't the right word. Um, I just I wish he would have been able to get some reps and, and things like that, but he got in there in the Skelly reps, and, you know, he looked like he hadn't missed a day. So uh, he looked really good, and he's, he's throwing the ball well when he could throw the ball in the spring. Um, he's been itching to get back in there. Um, we've had to pull back and say, whoa, which is what you want in a competitor like that. Um, so, you know, really happy with the spring, actually. Ricky, what were your thoughts on Noah Kane's performance today and throughout the spring, and what are your expectations for him going into this season? Yeah, you know, Noah, you know, he ran the ball really hard. He's hard to bring down. Um, he's got a thick lower body, but more importantly, he's got very quick feet, great vision. Um, and he runs with a great forward lean. So in those live periods, he's great. Um, looking forward to what he can do. You know, he's going to have to just keep working with Coach Sider and those sort of things. But I watched that kid. The difference between practice one and practice 15 uh, was, you know, it was unbelievable. So I love the, the trajectory he's on. Was there anything yeah. that you learned today? I mean, I know you've seen the guys for 15 practices. Was there anything that you learned today from the game itself that, I don't say surprised you, but that you didn't know before kickoff, any of the guys in their performances? No, I didn't learn anything new today. I mean, we, we, we know that Dan Chasina can run, you know. Um, we've also seen him make a bunch of those intermediate catches, and that's what I told the guys. I said, you know, life's about opportunities, and he converted that third down by running a great route, and we were able to hit the comeback, and then the next play we go and we throw the go to him. So he took advantage of his opportunities, and that's why he, you know, he was able to get that scholarship. So I was happy to really see that, and that, that was one thing that was great to see in front of those people, him track that ball and that thing. Gonzalez uh, decided to come back, and uh, you had Menick win the spring award. What do you expect from the offensive line you know, this year? You know, we've got some experience. Obviously, there's still some battles to be won there, um, at, you know, a couple of positions. Um, but we do have some experience. And uh, what I expect is for them to set the mentality of the offense, you know, and for us to be a physical team that can run the ball when, when we want to. Um, and, and that's what I expect out of those guys, finishing guys, being great in the pass protection, having a great pocket and those sort of things because we have the talent and the experience to do that. Ricky, to build off that, how's that interior, you know, um, Offensive line battle been going, especially with CJ Thorpe. I asked James about him earlier. How do you handle moving back to offense this year? This uh, he's been great. You know, um, one thing I thought that CJ's done a really good job in the spring. He's been very coachable, mm -hmm. um, and he's taken to what Coach Limegrover said. He still he lost all those reps, you know, mm -hmm. um, and he did that for the good of the team. So that that that's something that says a lot about his character. Um, but he was able to come back and really had a good spring, you know, and, and maybe he had one practice where, you know, he didn't have the, the practice he needed, but those other 14 were pretty darn good, and I was, I was happy with that. That going to go into the fall then? That, that, that was, that was happy. Lost. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think. Uh, absolutely. That's going to keep going, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy. happy. Those guys are really, really good players, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, they've had some experience in games. Um, what, whatever the side of the ball it's on, but they've had some experience in games, and, and I think those guys can continue to just come up and they, as much depth as you can have on the offensive line. We all know you're not going to probably play with five guys for an entire season, <laughs> and if you do, you're incredibly lucky. How That's different right. is the offense with Tommy there versus Sean as far as game planning, identity, scheming? I think, don't, I mean, quarterback, wide receiver, running back, you, you're going to have a little bit of a different flair on game playing depending on who your players are. Um, but can Tommy do all the things that we that we want him to do? Absolutely. Can Cliff do all the things? Absolutely. You know, can can Will Levis? Yes. You know, he didn't. He wasn't able to show some of his athletic ability today, and he's got a ton of it. So um, yeah, there's going to be certain things that you're going to probably lean on more just because you want to put your your players in the best position to succeed. You know, so it, it'll vary a little bit, but it kind of depends on 
you know, where you're at, but it also depends on their growth, you know, so, so your whole team can change some things. You know, you might, you might think you're going to run a route or his concept or whatever, but your team maybe just isn't very good at it for whatever reason and you've got to adjust.